Hi folks, Simon here, welcome to another Final Fantasy VIII Remastered video guide. And today we're going to be levelling a deer, but not for the sake of levelling a deer, but for the sake of levelling our Guardian Forces. And this is a great means for those of you that are playing, like me, a low level game in Final Fantasy VIII, to get your uh, Guardian Forces levelled very highly, without affecting the levels of your permanent party members. Now, the thing is, you can do this earlier on uh, with Cypher when he's in the party, but at that point you only have three Guardian Forces. So you're not actually levelling a whole lot, which is why, in my opinion, it's better waiting until this three. At least, as you can see, then you've got a lot to work with. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you kill off Zell and Squall, or whoever's, uh, you know, in your party uh, alongside a deer. I should also mention this is only available for a short time throughout the main adventure since a deer is only a temporary party member. So you'll need to do it only during that point in the game, otherwise you'll miss out on this opportunity. And you're going to want to come to the area between the train station, um, which is where a deer joins the party, and the salt flats, which are literally just next door to it. So what we're going to be doing is encountering Marlborough enemies here on this particular area. And even though they're rare enemies, we can force spawn them using the RNG manipulation method that I've shown you before, but I'll go over it again briefly here. Now, in order to fight the Marlborough enemies, since they are quite tough, we do need to make sure that a deer is going to be able to solo them. And as long as you actually have some um, abilities junction to your status defense, then you're going to have an easy time with them. And I strongly recommend Berserk, Blind, Confuse and Sleep. Having death on status attack is pointless, uh, but I've just got it there for the sake of it. So as long as you're guarding against these, this won't guard against all the status attacks of uh, Big Bad Breath, but it will guard against the ones that are going to debilitate you in battle to the point where you're not going to be able to fight. So keep those active and then make sure as well, this is really important, that you have a deer strength stat as high as possible. So I've managed to get to 248 using Ultima as my junction magic. If you don't have Ultima, then just stick any of the high level magic on there. And then I've stuck some strength abilities onto her uh, ability list as well. I've even put strength bonus on there since we are leveling her. That way she gets a little bit more powerful and it just makes the battles quicker as we go on through this farm. Now in terms of her other abilities, I strongly recommend using Tombri's level up ability. That way we can level up the Marlboros. They give a whopping amount of experience at the end of battle then. And I've got an empty space here. I'll be using this for treatment once I've got uh, Siren to learn it. Now Siren doesn't learn treatment until level 12. So she has learnt it now for me, and I'm just having to farm the AP in order to actually get it as an ability. Which is one of the reasons I decided to do this farm, because that treatment ability for Siren is actually really nice. One I recommend getting. And with that set up, we should be ready to go. So, I said we're going to force spawn the Marlboros since they're rare enemies. Which means that we're going to go ahead and save our game in this very location here. And all we need to do is quit and reload. Doesn't matter if Marlboro was the last enemy you fought or not. Just quit and reload. And then the marble should be the first enemy that we encounter. And I strongly recommend using turbo speed and the bat enhancement mod. And there it is, the marble enemy. And we're going to begin by levelling up marble a few times to the max, to 100. So I think we can cast it three times uh, at my current level. Maybe two. Yeah, two. And then we're just going to spam attack. Uh, incidentally, you can also mug if you want to, but... You can get Marble Tentacles from drops off this guy, which is really useful for getting the Doom Train Guardian Force. So, may as well kill two birds with one stone. Uh, we'll have plenty of those by the end of this farm. And even though we've got the countdown until Petrify or Death or whatever it is, uh, because we've got the Strength stat of a deer really high, we shouldn't need to concern ourselves with it. And the Battle Enhancement ability mod thing of the Remaster will stop us from needing to worry about that bio damage. And Silence, of course, which is the other status ailment, is basically ineffective because we're just using physical attacks. There we have it. Look at that, 5,000 experience. Not too shabby at all. We get eight Marlboro tentacles, which is in itself, uh, after one battle, far more than we actually need for Doom Train. And as you can see, pretty much all our Guardian forces level up. One thing I should mention um, is that your Guardian Forces, you don't, all want, you don't want to stick all of them onto a Dia because that will actually dilute the amount of experience they get. So I've given her only the ones necessary for the abilities that you've seen me set up. The rest I've split between Zell and Squall. Even though they're dead, they're still going to get the experience. Not Zell and Squall, but the Guardian Forces. So once we've gone through a battle, we're going to exit, which will hard reset that RNG. Reload. The whole process takes about five or six seconds. Pop on our enhancements once more. 
and then run around and encounter the next four spawn of Marlborough. It's as really as simple as that. Oh, forgot to do level up. Ah oh, well, doesn't really matter. We can do it now. Uh, I don't need to cast it twice at this point. You might need to cast it three or four times if a deer joins your party at low level, just until she levels up a little bit. Ah, done it an extra one. And a few more attacks here. Should see this thing out. Now, it's a good job we're doing lots of damage because these Marlborough have just a ton of health, as you can see, especially at high level. You don't have to level them up, and they can even still drop Marlborough Tentacles. But the experience gain, uh, in my opinion, is worth it. The extra amount that you get. Incidentally, if you don't want to kill Marlboros, you can also kill the Visage enemies, which spawn in the Salt Lake itself. Um, you can actually get, I believe it's regen rings from those as a rare drop, which is great if you're still building up full life on your party members. But hey, I'll get that later. Look at all that lovely experience, and Adia's already level 58. And once again, I think every Guardian Force gains at least one level. Nice. Uh, one thing I would like to note as well is that if you're not actually running directly between the train track and the salt lake, there is a chance that Marlborough wouldn't spawn. But as long as you're doing that, it will. Once you've gone ahead and, as I have learned, the treatment ability with Siren, then you might want to cast it. You're not required to, but you might want to. Let's just see if I need to level up again. Nah, don't need to. But we can cast treatment, and then we should be okay for the rest of the battle. But even without treatment... Um, I didn't really, you know, need to remove status ailments. So I haven't been up until this point anyway. So, with the high speed turbo mode on as well, you can do this fight within about a minute. I mean, to be honest, treatment just slows you down more than anything. That countdown's the big thing. So long as you've got a strength stat high enough, you don't need to worry about removing it. Um, but if you don't have treatment and you can't remove that strength, uh, that countdown in time, then just throw a couple of remedies throughout the fight. You can e easily purchase more using Tomri's Cool Shop ability. But as you can see, I don't even need to do that. So much experience. It is level 81. And not only have I got a lot of Malbra tentacles, uh, but also I've gained quite a few curse spikes as well, which can be refined into dark matter using uh, one of Siren's refinement abilities. And our Guardian Forces are levelling up lovely as well. Alright then folks, I'm just going to go for one more battle now. That should be enough to at least level a deer up to 100, the maximum amount. And yep, I can confirm, as long as you stay between these two locations, you will get Malbra every single time, because I have not failed one time. The only time I got those other enemies to spawn by mistake was if I came too far away from this particular area. As long as you don't do that, you'll be absolutely fine. I think that should be max level now. Yes, yeah, so I've been farming for about... 41 minutes, 42 minutes I think it is now. Um, and that's taken Adia up from level 15 or whatever she was starting at to level 100 or will be once we've completed this battle. And our Guardian Force have leveled a lot. I haven't maxed them out. Um, obviously the, the experience for them gets uh, distributed amongst all of them. So uh, Adia's going to level a lot faster. Uh, you can level them higher but I don't see the point because when we level our party members on this 4 they'll also gain experience then as well. I just wanted to make sure that we gave them a good boost, got the treatment ability with Cybum, and I'm quite happy with that. I've also got about, ooh, 50 plus, oh, well, another 10. I was going to say 50 plus curse spikes, but that's going to be 60 plus now. So we're well on our way to our next Dark Matter also, which is a real nice bonus. So you might even want to farm these marbles while you're here, if you're on a good, stri uh, good streak of killing them, to get another Dark Matter. Presuming, you know, that you've only got one already. And look at that, Adia's level 100. And our Guardian Forces are also well on their way. I mean, Cerberus here is on level 83. So I'm really happy with that. Yeah, that was a good farm. And like I say, it didn't take too long at all, which made it really worth it, in my opinion. And look, we've got 74 Curse Spikes. Uh, they are a rare drop for Marlboros, but if you, you know, just absolutely slaughtering them, then look how much I've got in 40 minutes. Might be worth just going for 100. Anyway, folks, I hope the video has helped you. If it has, don't forget to drop a like and have some good farming time. I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.